So welcome to this video. We're still uh, expanding binomials um, by solving past paper questions. So the credit goes to Cambridge examinations and you check my website explaining maths for my free resources. What does it say? Find the first three terms in the expansion of two minus x to the power six in ascending powers of x. Yeah, And then for i, i find the value of k for which there is no term in x squared uh, in the expansion of, and then I give you this expression. Okay, let's start with this. In ascending power of x, so x to the power 0 to the power 1 to the power 2, eh? increasing anyway those powers of x. The first three terms. Uh, because if I would expand the entire thing, I would get seven terms. It's always one more than the power. Eh? So uh, we just uh, start at the beginning. So um, the first term, uh, 6, uh, 0, there we go. And then it's 2 to the power 6 minus x to the power 0. And although that is perhaps obvious, I still write it down. That's going to be my first term. My second term, 6, 1. So this one drops a power and this one gains a power. There you go. And my third term, so 6, 2. And then it's 2 to the power 4 minus x to the power 2. So those are the first three terms. And I'm just checking 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay, no silly mistakes there. And I'm going to work it out, and perhaps you want to use a calculator for that. And I, I try to write down as much working as I can. That is going to be 1, uh, 2 to the power 6. Just going to check that because it's a little bit uh, early still, but it is 64, I knew that. And to the power 0 is always 1, okay? Plus... And that is going to be 6, uh, that first part. Uh, your calculator can do that for you. Uh, 6, 2 to the power 5 uh, is going to be 32. And minus x to the power 1 is minus x. Uh, so careful for that one. And then 6, 2, um, 15. 2 to the power 4 is 16 times. And that's going to be x to the power 2 now, yeah? minus squared is a positive. Then we're going to simplify the whole thing and then I am going to get for that first term that is going to be 64 plus 6 times uh, 32 that's going to be uh, minus, so let get, let's get rid of that plus, let's, oh, how do I get rid of that? I can't, okay, I'm just going to say minus 192x and then that last part is positive and that's going to be 240 x squared. Now just to remind myself, I'm going to say plus and then some dots because again I want to remind myself that if this is not finished yet, yeah, if I would expand the entire thing there are more terms to follow, four in total, yeah, because perhaps I need to know that for my next question, yeah, but they're only asking me for the first three terms in ascending power of x, so that is the answer. Good. Going to ii, find the value of k, yeah, the constant k, for which there is no term in x squared in the expansion of and then I should realize that that 2 minus x to the power 6 is used again in some form on this side, 2 minus x to the power 6. So how do I approach these questions? I'm going to write down 1 plus kx times, and I'm going to write down my answer of question i, 64 minus 192x plus 240 x squared and just to again remind myself there are more terms there so when do i not have a term in x squared that is when that term in x squared is zero so the coefficient of x squared needs to be zero and when i expand um, these brackets with each other when will i get a term in x squared well for instance one times 64 no that's not an x squared one times minus 192x is not x squared but one times 240x squared that will be a term in x squared so 240x squared after expansion is a term in uh, x squared. And I know there are more terms there, but that's going to be x to the power 3, x to the power 4, and x to the power 5. So 1 times one of those terms is not going to give me anything in x squared. However, this is not the only term in x squared, because if I do kx times 64, it's not going to give me x squared. But kx times minus 192x is going to give me a term in x squared. 
So that is going to give me minus 192 k x squared. Okay, and that has to equal zero. So 240, I have the coefficient of that first term, has to be the same as 192 k, because then it will be zero. So k has to be 240 divided by 192 equals, and I'm going to check in my calculator, 240 divided by 192 equals, and it gives me one and a quarter, 1.25. Okay, so I have to check when will I get a term in x squared. Well, that is this integer, huh, this constant times the x squared term here, but I'll get another term in x squared if I do kx times the term in x on the other side, giving me x squared. Yeah, okay, um, I hope that was useful, guys. Um, please like and share if it was, and check my website explainingmaths.com. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.